Uh, so Brianna Joy Gray did a debate with uh, Samuel Lincoln Cedar, uh, to my understanding is his full name, uh, and decided to, instead of bringing her A game, she decided to bring her, I guess, like E game or like F game or like, I don't know, like Z game. She brought a really bad game. So I saw this last night and this, this part here, I want to play this clip because it's really bizarre. Um, it's just really bizarre. So uh, Brianna Joy Gray is really struggling uh, because she keeps trying to bring up Jimmy Dore and then gets mad whenever Sam Cedar brings up Jimmy Dore. Um, and by the way, you cannot, you know, disassociate force the vote from Jimmy Dore. It's Jimmy Dore's self-proclaimed idea. Brianna Joy Gray several times in this debate said that it was his idea and that he is directly linked to it and then also argued the exact opposite many times. So this part I thought was profoundly embarrassing on her part. And I'm just going to play the clip and uh, we can watch. I realized I'm, I'd been duped. My and, name's Brianna. And regardless, Jimmy Dore well, could go and kill 15. The DSA, okay. nurses, now, you I just want to say, I just want to say, okay. So Brianna Joy Gray tries to say the really cringy thing right here. Listen. Jimmy Dore well, could go on. and kill 15. The DSA, okay. you so I want that to be like cheat. Like that is the most important thing that I noticed was that Jimmy Dore could kill 15 and then, you know, Sam like cut her off, which, you know, it was like, you know, I understand, you know, sometimes there's like that moment of like delay or whatever. I get it, right? Um, So they have that miscommunication. Brianna Joy Gray is about to say Jimmy Dore can kill 15 children. I still support force the vote, right? But then she, she gets a gift from God. And this is what like, I really want to like, I, I want to emphasize how much of a gift from God this is. Um, so she gets the gift from God of Samuel Lincoln Cedar deciding to cut her off, meaning she was about to embarrass herself. And now she has a second chance to just not embarrass herself. And I want you to understand that because her brain is thinking, hell yeah, man, I'm going to say something totally cool, bro. Which like, again, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. I have a problem with that when you're trying to do so in the favor of force the vote in Jimmy Dore. That's what I have the problem with, right? But if like, you know, I, whatever. So like she has this really dumb thing to say and then she really wants to say it. And then this happens. Like, again, it's so bizarre. I realized I've been duped. My and, name's Brianna. And regardless, Jimmy Dore well, could go and kill 15. You brought up the DSA. Okay. You brought up nurses. That's you brought fine. up the media. You brought up David Sirota. I, I, honestly, Sam, if I could just get this sentence out. It, I, I, you can, we can talk about Jimmy. Jimmy Dore can go and kill 15 kids tomorrow. And I still believe in force the vote. So there are ways that we, I think we can talk about the effect of Jimmy Dore's arg, uh, argumentative style on this discourse. Well, it's not an argumentative style. Okay. It's not, I don't mind his style. I think that I think that when you put out and make the argument over and over again that she's a sellout and they're a fraud, okay. I think that does we, damage. We can, and we should talk about that. But that's different now, than making. Now, I just want to say, I just want to say again, 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 again. Um, I said this on Twitter when I was watching the debate last night. Was I did a debate with Nico House, who is a literal neo-Nazi collaborator. Like he does films with neo-Nazis about how the election was stolen, about how Black Lives Matter and Antifa are terrorist organizations, right? So I debated this guy, right? And his chief strategy was to continue to bring up Jimmy Dore, but then also say it's not about Jimmy Dore. And I noticed that that's what Bree is doing here. It's whenever you can use Jimmy Dore as like a positive thing, it's like, oh, Jimmy Dore has the big audience, 10 to 12 million views. And then whenever Jimmy Dore is talked about in a negative aspect, it's, oh, it's not about Jimmy Dore. It's not about Jimmy Dore. Well, you can't have it both ways. And that's the thing that's so bizarre about this is like their inability to discuss the strategy of force the vote. And again, I only watched about 45 minutes of this debate. I thought it would, was only like about an hour and a half or so. Apparently, it's three hours so maybe this debate is like really bad uh, overall but I mean again from the little bit that I saw and I might watch the rest later the little bit that I saw it reminded me of when I debated Nico House of like every time Sam Cedar tried to talk about the strategy and like the step-by-step -step process of the strategy they would keep trying to talk about oh but healthcare in a pandemic healthcare in a pandemic healthcare in a pandemic oh it's, but, 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 but there's a pandemic going on in healthcare and that means I win the argument the whole thing is like, again, they tried to use force the vote as a litmus test 
for whether or not you're progressive or whatever. Now, first of all, I'm an anarchist. I'm not a progressive. And that needs to be first and foremost, right? Now, the second of all, again, you can endorse Medicare for all as a political policy without endorsing a specific tactical procedure of getting there. Like, for example, someone can say, I think we should try to get a public option first and then we'll transition to Medicare for all afterward. And I can say, all right, I disagree with that tactical approach, but... I understand where you're coming from and maybe if there's a time where that's a decent approach later in the future I can get bound with that down with that but personally that's not my thing that was my opinion on force the vote right was that like it's kind of a dumb strategy but like whatever right and so like but the inability for these people to defend the strategy without pretending like their opponent is against Medicare for all they just can't do it like Nico house again I debated Nico house and Every single time I would try to talk about the strategy, Nico would go into, oh, it's a pandemic. People don't have health insurance. It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, we agree on that, right? So again, and then also Brianna Joy Gray is a self-identified, and I want to, I want to very much so explicitly say that it is self-identified. She is a self-identified comms expert, comms being short for communications. Now, her past experience was losing in what looked like to be a pretty winnable race. Now, again, the powers that be, the media is very, very big. I think the media is the number one culprit as to why Bernie Sanders lost. However, Brie is well positioned, right? She is literally the only person that can be in this position, right? And this is why it's so bizarre. She was against, she was with the Bernie Sanders campaign and was against the media and failed. So now her next idea is to, without the Bernie Sanders campaign, go against the media all by herself with Jimmy Dore and Nico House behind her and 12 other people outside of the steps of the Capitol? That's her plan? If she couldn't get a front runner Democratic uh, nominee, right? Like, or a uh, 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 candidate, literally won the first three states. He was the front runner. And sure, you lose South Carolina, but again, and I know the media was the huge like antagonist there, and that's what I'm saying. But if Bree is going to say that, like, all of a sudden, the media, which, again, Chris Matthews had to retire because of his comments on Bernie Sanders winning Nevada, right? The media had to react to that. They were forced to, right? The media is not forced to talk about AOC and healthcare in a pandemic. If they did this force the vote strategy, the media would just say, look, AOC is not letting the speakership vote go through. Why isn't she letting us get COVID relief? Why isn't she let this, that, and that? Why is she trying to sabotage Biden's presidency? That would be wall to wall on mainstream media. Do you think Brianna Joy Gray can go up against that? No. She couldn't go up against that when all the fucking cards that would possibly be stacked in her favor were stacked in her favor. Again, she was the press secretary for the front runner. And she still failed. And again, my analysis here is that the media, we're going to have to deal with them on a whole separate issue. That's my analysis. But her analysis is I'm a comms expert. That's her analysis. So again, I don't know. This clip was a little bizarre. And uh, Jesus Christ. Um, my Lord.